Hey guys, it's Struck for Freedom Stables, and this is part two of my Briarfest haul video. So, of course, I went to Lexington for Briarfest and all that, but I also toured around some different horse farms. I went to six in about five days. So, Briarfest this year is quite the trip. So, we're just kind of going to go from here and then just work our way. So we went to the Phasic Tipton sale. Um, the horses of all ages sale. And got the free hip books and everything like the supplementals and last minute supplementals. And then the yearling sale was Tuesday, but we didn't go. And then I got a boatload of free pens. We went to Keeneland Racetrack and I got two pairs of these socks. The other pair is in the wash because I wore them throughout Briarfest. And I also got one of these, which is a squishy kind of cup by Silipint or Pint. And um, funny enough, Odd Horse Studios um, printed those, so that's kind of neat. Um, technically, I also, switching gears, I also got, um, two, like, Keeneland logo, like, decals for your car. One's already on my car, the other one I have, I have to find yet. As well as three Keeneland pencils and three Keeneland pens. And then, technically, this wasn't a Briarfest purchase, but I bought it on Amazon, um, before we left. And it's here, so I'm counting it in my Briarfest haul because I bought it during Briarfest. So then I went to Quillen's Tax Shop and I got this mug that says, a horse gallops with his lungs, perseveres with his heart, and wins with his character by Federico Tessio, who was very important in the thoroughbred breed. I also, real quick, got a stud chain to match my go for gin halter and i actually needed that for school so there it is it's i think 30 30 inches or something like that 30 foot maybe i don't know it's big so then we went to windstar on friday and then this is just some of their stallions and stuff like that this is their publication then we've went to Lane's End and got some things like their stud magazines. I got one from Ashford when we went to see Justify. This is a little Briarfest notebook that I got. And then I got two off, off track thoroughbred magazines. I got three of the old friends, um, like supplemental kind of thing that has all their horses. Here's the program um, from Briarfest. Here's all the horses. With the stable mates, all the guest horses and portrait models. I also got a t-shirt in that glass, but the uh, glass is in the washing it is in the dishwasher and the shirts in the wash and the laundry. So don't have that yet. I also got a, a pair of socks from Quillen's that had horses on them. My, I bought this for my dad for his kind of a Christmas, early Christmas present kind of because he really wanted it. And then that mug. But here's the program. There's Infinity Briars which is awesome. I'm so happy for her. Here's the live auction horses. This one really smashed the record, the silver at $65,000 or 64,000. I think it was 65,000, which is crazy. Awesome for that person, but wow. And then this was free in the Clarion. It's exploring the model horse hobby. And it just has all sorts of things about model horses and just stuff like that. Looks like they're autographed too, 
which I didn't realize. So that's neat. And then the last thing I got, which is kind of a joke, we went to Bucky's, which is, if you don't know, it's this giant gas station that has like everything in it. So I got a little Bucky plushie. So I got Bucky. And then there's just some like small stuff missing here and there, like postcards and just stuff like that that I picked up. But it's not really earth shattering, but this is everything really else I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to watching your Briarfest haul if you went. And if you didn't go, I hope you can go next year. Next year's theme is driving forward. So I'm really looking forward to that and seeing how that works out. But this is really everything I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.